Have you ever had one of those days where you worked 12 hours straight but felt like you just didn't actually get anything accomplished? Are you one of those repeat offenders of never actually accomplishing your New Year's resolution? Well, I have just the solution for you. The Self Journal from Best Self Co. The Self Journal provides a new way of looking at goal definitions instead as 13-week sprints. It allows you to craft a roadmap for your life around your 13-week goal, a plan to reach that goal, a new concept to task management where all of your available work hours and your day are assigned to tasks, and daily reflections in the morning and evening to consider the blessings in your life that you're actually grateful for. The Self Journal is more than just a planner and task management tool. It's a system for creating and sticking to daily habits so the steps needed for you to become successful become habitual. After all, it was Darren Hardy who said, you will never change your life until you change something you do daily. The secret of your success is found in your daily routine. If you're interested in learning more about the Self Journal, go to www.bestself.co and use discount code ALISSANIGHT for 15% off your purchase. In 2017, a market analysis performed by Quocerca of 200 companies found that 61% of large enterprises it surveyed had experienced at least one data breach as a result of unsecured network printers. Hello, I'm Melissa Knight, and this is LeadSpeak. Today, we'll be focusing on the systemic cybersecurity problems around unsecured multifunction printers in the enterprise that have led to network compromise, data breaches, and ransom payments, and how they can be prevented. If the security of your network printers are keeping you up at night, stay tuned to this new episode of LeadSpeak. That major hack attack against Sony. First, the studio's movies. Three days after Target and confirmed the hacking of payment information from as many as 40 million customers credit to have a Incoming message. It's Friday, and that means time for another episode of Leet Speak with Alyssa Knight. Bridging the gap between all things information security, where we'll talk the latest vulnerabilities, threats, security conferences, malware and exploits, as well as interview CISOs and CIOs from around the world on the IT risk management topics that matter most. Alyssa Knight, one woman, one mission, one voice, and the world's foremost authority on hacking the cloud and Internet of Things. Coming to you unplugged and unleashed in this week's new episode of Lead Speak with Alyssa Knight. to define what kind of printer we're talking about here because I'm not talking about your grandmother's desk jet connected to her computer over USB. What we're discussing here is the vulnerability created by multifunction printers, the new generation of printers introduced first in the early 1990s based on inkjet technology that sported printing, scanning, copying, and fax capabilities. At first they were expensive and relatively unreliable but soon improved over time, adding features such as printing for mobile devices and the most commonly used feature scan to email. Unfortunately, it isn't very common for IT to treat printers just like any other endpoint that needs to be secured, like the servers in the environment. The fact is, despite it having an LCD control panel and trays, it is in fact a server. Think about it for a minute. It has storage for files. It runs services, also called daemons, on specific ports that remote clients connect to to send data, and almost all enterprise MFPs even run web servers for administration. With so many organizations still struggling to habitualize clean desk and clear screen policies in their office environment, many face additional challenges also educating employees on the importance of not leaving their printouts sitting on the printout tray of the printer. Therefore, MFP can easily have both physical security and network security risk to be treated. This isn't to say that CISOs don't consider this to be a paramount concern. In the same closed circus study, 23% of the professional services industry, 30% of retailers, 25% of financial institutions, 28% of public sector, and 13% of industrials companies surveyed consider their printers to be a critical IT security concern. The attack surface for printers is wide, according to the attacks reported by the surveyed companies. 50% reported print jobs being intercepted at the print queue or on the network, 48% reported printer hard disk theft, hard disk data retrieval, 
47% reported inadvertent data leak from unclaimed print jobs at the output trays, 44% reported documents emailed to the outside internet, and 18% reported access to the network via unsecured printers, meaning they hacked the printer in order to access the network. Hacking printers has become increasingly easy with the availability of tools for point-and-click exploitation. Tools such as PRN to me, a Python script created by Chris John Riley, listens on port 9100 by default, acting like a printer, and uses ARP spoofing to intercept print jobs on the wire, saving a copy of the PCL and PostScript print jobs to the hacker's local computer. It also allows interception of the print job to then be forwarded on to the legitimate printer. Other such techniques include attacking vulnerable print spoolers using simple Metasploit modules, or even easier attacks such as connecting to the web interface of the printer and accessing previously saved print jobs. In many of the penetration tests I performed, the printers are the lowest hanging fruit in the testing. Many companies either disabled the password completely or left the default vendor supplied username and password without changing it, giving full remote administrative control over the printer. In one instance, I was able to download sensitive documents from the legal department or annual reports before they were disclosed that were printed by public companies without having to specify authentication credentials to the printer because the printer was configured to save all those previous print and scan jobs and make them available as PDF downloads on the web interface. In one particular instance where I performed a penetration test on a law firm, I was able to mount the internal drive of the printer as a local drive to my laptop and access every print and scan job going back over four years. All of this on the heels of HP recently announcing a new bug bounty program with BugCrowd, paying $10,000 for every new enterprise printer vulnerability discovered. In 2017, a hacker named Stack Overflow and claimed responsibility for hacking 150,000 insecure printers to raise the awareness towards the dangers of leaving printers exposed online without a firewall when he sent messages which included, among other things, hashtag fix your bullshit. Among the targets were also cash register receipt printers that began printing the same message. So knowing your network printers are an ingress point into hacking your broader network, previously printed or scanned jobs can be retrieved via a web interface with no credentials, or even accessed directly from the internet. What do you do about it? Unplug them and move back to paper and pen? No. I've got your blue pill right now on how to address these vulnerabilities. Number one, change vendor assigned default passwords. The first thing you should do when setting up a new enterprise MFP is change the vendor default passwords to something secure that includes lowercase and uppercase characters, symbols, and numbers, and a minimum length of 8 characters. Number 2. Turn off services you don't need. If there's no reason to even be running the web server, FTP server, telnet server, whatever service is running on the printer, and you don't need it, turn it off. Number 3. Keep your printer updated with the latest firmware. Many of the newer MFPs can be configured to automatically connect to the manufacturer and download the latest firmware and apply it. If you don't make it part of your manual patching strategy, turn this feature on. Number four, if you have a managed security service provider, find out if they will monitor your printers for you. This is easily an ingress point into your network or points of data loss that your MSSP should be monitoring. Number five, disable automatic saving of print and scan jobs. If there's no reason for employees to access previously printed documents, disable the feature on the printer to automatically save and archive their previous jobs. Many of the employees probably don't even know this is an option, nor how to access the printer to download these previous prints. Number six, perform annual security awareness training around printer security. Ensure your annual security awareness training for clear desk and clear screen also covers the importance of immediately grabbing prints when jobs are sent to the printer and how much of a risk is created when jobs are sent to the printer and left there to be picked up later by the employee. So, question of the day. Have you experienced a printer breach on your network or have you responded to an incident where MFP was involved? Leave your comments in the comments section below. And as usual, if you like this podcast, like it and share it to your social media sites. And before I sign off, I want to leave you with this daily quote from my self-journal by John Rohn. If you're not willing to risk the usual, you'll have to settle for the ordinary. So to all of you, risk the usual, don't settle for the ordinary, and most of all, take care of yourselves and each other.